Have you felt like you've been beating down a door that doesn't open and you've been praying for God to open that door and God doesn't seem to respond at all? He's giving you a silence treatment. It doesn't listen to you. It feels that way that you're fighting against God. You feel like God doesn't want you blessed. Sure, it was that, that way. Jacob felt when he fought with God and he was thinking God is withholding his blessings from him that he promised him before he was born and sure it was the same with us when the Lord had put that desire in our heart to sell our property and follow his leadings wherever he wanted he wanted us to go but the house wasn't selling and we were praying God you told us to sell the house and take your lead and go wherever you want us to go but the house wasn't selling whereas all the houses that were on the market in the same street as ours were selling and many of them were selling within one week yeah within one or two weeks they were selling the, the uh, housing market was booming at the time and uh, houses were like gold dust. It was just disappearing, coming on the market and disappearing next two weeks. But ours was staying there for months to the point that we got sick of it. We just thought, forget about it. We've heard it wrong. We've got the message wrong. We have to take it off the market. And I picked up the phone. I called the estate agent to say, uh, take it off the market and then we had the offer on that same day. Uh, we explained this in our previous joint video that we'd made and we told you we felt that God was leading us out of that location and uh, we told you uh, what ideas we had and what we were thinking of God. Um, God's plans for us the house sold um, it took a little longer than uh, anticipated uh, it was supposed to close uh, within 90 days but uh, the buyers had a chain there was a chain involved uh, and they had to sell their property to buy ours and, and uh, cut a long story short it took longer than anticipated and uh, so we were more and more frustrated because we were in kind of in a kind of limbo uh, we didn't know where we were because in this country unless you're in this country you wouldn't know that until the last moment until you have received the money and the, 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 you've signed off the deed and transferred to the other person uh, anything can happen and things can fall through and uh, your sale uh, of the property might not happen and because of that you can't plan ahead uh, we were in a situation we didn't know whether we wanted to buy tickets to go to America whether that was the Lord's uh, will for us, best will for us, whether we could uh, rent a place here because renting a place uh, would mean signing a contract of a year at least. Um, some uh, might agree uh, for six months contract but nothing less than that. So the minimum if you could find six months you would be lucky but we didn't know how long was a piece of string we didn't know how long uh, we would be waiting for the sale to close to begin with and then where are we going from there are we going to buy a property here in this country or are we going to leave this country and go to america and buy a property there or are we going to have a base here, a small base here, or a big base here, and go have a small base in America, or the other way around? We had all these scenarios, 
and we had all the cards on the table we were looking at all the options we didn't have a clear-cut answer from the Lord and we didn't know what was best so we asked around we asked the state agents we had we asked the um, friends anybody we knew to see if they knew anybody who had a house or property that we could uh, rent or stay in there uh, until our house sells and from then uh, we could take it and, and find out what we want to do and plan it um, that way but uh, all failed until uh, the house was supposed to uh, sell and close uh, at the end of January uh, like maybe uh, first couple of weeks into February but uh, it closed uh, end of March uh, so we didn't have time you can see how much frustration we would have to <laughs> deal with and 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 we have to go through uh, as we couldn't plan uh, we couldn't uh, do anything without knowing exact dates so uh, we were searching for house sitting jobs around the country even outside the country but um, nothing was on the horizon so we um, searched and searched and searched until the last few weeks before the closing of the sale was it was yeah it open? yeah I think it was uh, three weeks or something yeah and um, we found this property that was on the house sitting market uh, and we have to say we had applied for other house sets we had found a few other ones within the country but that they all rejected us so we, we were still wondering what we can do yeah they, they all rejected us this is the door that we were beating and the Lord wasn't opening and uh, another door basically the, the first door was selling the house and it wasn't selling although we had heard or we felt that the Lord had told us to sell the house and move on from there. Um, he had um, messed up the uh, nest for us to be uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, like, um, where is that in the. Um, uh, is it, I don't know if it's. In Proverbs. Yeah, in, Proverbs of Job. He stirred the nest. Yeah, he stirs the nest. The, the eagle stirs the nest so the little uh, baby eagles won't stay there comfortable so they can learn flying anyway um, we um, applied for this um, house sitting where we are now and i'll tell you there were a lot of people applying for this uh, house at the same time uh, ours uh, our application uh, first uh, the lady the, the, the landlady of this property told us that we could um, come and have a look at the property and ask our questions and she could interview us and all that and we did that yeah and I have um, to say she said you could come and look because it was close to us yeah it was like the other ones were like at least five or six hours away from us. All, all the other ones that we applied, they were all distant from us. And uh, this one was closer. There were quite a lot of people that applied for this as well at the same time. And this lady interviewed us. And then first she said, yes, uh, you can. when can you do that? And we said, this time uh, we can do it as early as you want because we could literally move. Uh, while we were trying to sell the house um, and we were hoping we would get the house sitting first before we sell because if you sell and then you get the house sitting like uh, a couple of weeks even then you have that couple of weeks you have to stay somewhere in between and, and that would cost us a lot of money uh, as it happened this lady um, sent us another message and said 
uh, sorry, uh, change of plan, uh, the other applicant is more suitable and we want to go ahead with them. So uh, we just thought, well, what happened? Uh, we were praising the Lord that God had given us his promise and uh, our prayers were answered and suddenly it was taken away. Uh, I'm, I'm sure lots of you have felt the same way in many of your uh, circumstances in your, in your life, at different points in your life, that you feel like God wants to give you something, He's even promising you something and He almost gives you and then is taken away. But when she said uh, she'd given house sitting to somebody else, uh, I still believed it was ours. I still believed this house was ours. And uh, it took another few days or maybe a ma maximum of a week and she came back to us and she said do you want to come and have a look at the house again and ha you know have your questions and I said well you've already accepted somebody else she said yeah the other person is a little bit uh, unsure the, the, the way she was talking was unsure herself like uh, gave the impression to me that she uh, doesn't really know what she wants and um, so I, w I wasn't really happy because I was thinking what if we go there uh, all the way come here because it's about half an hour at least drive half an hour 45 minutes drive uh, and, and it was winter and uh, she's already decided to take somebody else we go there for what reason so that she can have us uh, as the second best or third best maybe or fourth or fourth in line <laughs> we don't know so I asked her I said, are we second best then or are we down the line we don't know what, you know how far down the line the queue we are so she said yes with a smile yes you are uh, you're the second so we came here had a look around we asked all our questions she asked our, all her questions and then um, a couple of days later she said you can have it so we uh, got the promise of the Lord we came here to do the house sitting also although we still have to pay the bills and everything but still uh, the, the, the only benefit uh, or advantage of uh, renting a property is that uh, we are not tied into a contract which is what we were looking for and we couldn't find now uh, it also happened that this whole thing was um, moved forward uh, as far as house sitting so instead of us having to start the house sitting um, like middle of February she decided because they, they, there was another chain involved I don't want to bore you with that uh, that their house sitter, the previous house sitter, had to move out earlier. So um, we managed to come actually two weeks earlier, which helped us because within that time we could move our stuff into a storage unit and sell the property. Uh, if it was the other way around, we would have a little bit of a problem. So this whole thing. Uh, you might say, say, well, what was that to do with me? Okay, this is just to encourage you that when sometimes you're beating down a door that God has told you, has promised you behind that door, there is a blessing for you. It doesn't open it. There is a reason. There is a timing involved. And you have to consider that God wants the best for you. Jesus says, which of you, if your son asks for bread uh, give him stone which of you if your son asks for fish uh, give him snake so if you who are evil know how to good how to give good gifts to your children how much more god would want you to have the best his best and his best for all of us is the holy spirit and his leading in your circumstances, in your situation, I would like to encourage you that um, persevere, uh, 
hold on to God's promises for you. Don't be discouraged. God's promises, if He's promised you, it'll come to pass, but in His timing, not ours. And this house sitting has helped us in many, many ways. I don't want to, again, bore you with details. The, the size of the property has helped us, has helped our children to grow uh, and, and, you know, learn a lot. And it's been a stepping stone for us as well because we, uh, personally me, I always want a big house, big property, big land. And uh, so it might be, we think, we're thinking it might be the case that this is a stepping stone for us to learn a uh, learning curve for us to learn uh, the things that we need to know before God takes us to the uh, promised land that he has for us. And he has moved us many times uh, in our life from one location to another physically uh, as well as spiritually. He's moved us. Um, you know, there is a time involved. This place is your best place at this moment. Tomorrow might not be. Abraham moved by faith. God told him, get up and move. And he just packed up and moved without knowing where he was going. We feel the same. We feel like we're doing the same thing as Abraham. And uh, we don't know where we're going. We uh, didn't have everything planned out. Uh, sure, we had our own plans or scenarios laid out. Um, and in fact, I forgot to bring that. I have um, an A3, is it an A3 yeah, size yeah. paper that we sat there for days, clear, you know, just thinking carefully, considering all the details of our circumstances and all the scenarios possible. And we wrote down what possible scenarios could um, uh, pan out in our life and, and what paths we could take. Uh, and I tell you, with this house sitting, none of those things, it, it was never, it wasn't even in the plan. Yeah, we thought we had put, put every single scenario on this piece of paper, but the one that happened <laughs> wasn't even there. It wasn't even there. So God picks a scenario for you that you haven't even thought of, you cannot even think of. And, and like I said, we were thinking house sitting, but we weren't thinking we could have a house sitting here in this country um, because of many reasons. Uh, and, and so it happened. Um, at the right time too. Now we have, from now, from after we moved in uh, this house, uh, after our house was sold and completed, and we got the uh, deed transferred to the to the buyers, and we received the money. We relaxed a couple of days, and then after that, it was all stress again. Because first of all, uh, the banks. I don't know how it is in other countries, but in this country, uh, they don't, they actually tell you, they don't insure your money after a certain amount of money there. Uh, up to a certain limit, they can insure, they tell you that we can insure up to that much. Uh, after that, it's not, guaranteed. there is no guarantee. It's not insured. So anything happen to your money, it's, it's a risk uh, on your own head. Uh, the, the onus basically is on you to protect your money. How? They don't tell you and we don't know how. So anyway, um, it, it's not like, it's not much, but it's still uh, all our life uh, earnings. And that is a stressful uh, job to do, a uh, task to take. Uh, and, and if any of you have been in that kind of situation or are in that situation, you'll know what I'm talking about. Imagine you've sold your house, everything you've had is gone. You have nothing now. And um, all, you had, all you have is a lump sum of money in the bank that anything can happen to it. And, and, and you know the market is uh, volatile and uh, anything can happen basically. So. Uh, we have to act fast uh, and now we have another 
A3 uh, sheet with our scenarios laid down there and anything that happens and any decision that people make um, in, in, in that uh, realm of our in the realm of our uh, scenarios can make a big effect on um, on the results or uh, where we are going to be or what we're going to do so we've laid down again a few different scenarios that we think they are possible even uh, the options and uh, we've been praying of course and we are thinking of we're open um, we don't close our eyes to anything we don't chuck out any cards we have all the cards again on the table and we're looking at all the all the possible options um, and all of this is being bathed with prayer from beginning to end. We are just praying for God's leading. We don't want to do anything outside of the perfect will of God because well, that always gets you in trouble. Yeah, we, our own desires is one thing. We and, and, I, and I believe God will give you the desires of your heart because God will put those desires in your heart to begin with. Um, of course, if you are following the Holy Spirit, and the leading of the Lord and you're in line and in tune with the with the scripture otherwise yes we're not talking about uh, evil desires uh, we're talking about the desires that the Lord has put in your heart to begin with God will fulfill them why wouldn't he because he's put that desire in your heart to begin with he's put that for a reason so he will fulfill them but in his timing and we believe um, the best for us Will happen it might not be the best for you uh, it might be uh, when it happens and, and when we sit here or somewhere again in front of the camera and tell you what's happening or what's happened it might be a rubbish story to you but to us is uh, God's miracle uh, because it's the desires are of our hearts not um, not your heart and not your desire not the desires that God has put in your heart so you have to seek the Lord to put the right desires in your heart and, and I tell you God will take the desires uh, that are not his away from you as well I've experienced that many times uh, and we want to just make this video short and precise and that's why I don't want to branch off and digress to other uh, subjects uh, and stories but just to say and be encouraged hang on and God's promises will come to pass if he has promised you anything he will give it to you but in his timing and we believe his best is to come for us and his the best uh, place that he has for us the best property that he has for us is just on the corner uh, we might not be able to see it we might not be able to feel it but it's there and it's sealed for us i want to read this passage of scripture from job 28 uh, verses 7 and 8 it says the path no bird of prey knows nor has the falcon's eyes caught sight of it the, the proud beasts have not trodden it nor has the fierce lion passed over it uh, many times at least i can say for myself many times in my life and i can say for uh, stacy as well uh, that we felt like we are walking on a path that no no one else has ever walked uh, we've done applications for different things that that path that situation that circumstances that we are in or we were in no one else where we could tell because of the way that the application was actually set up our circumstances wasn't even there and we had to find a way to to get around that we had to basically create a new path and god is saying you will walk the path that no one else has walked you will do things that no one else has done even jesus himself said you will do miracles bigger than these if you follow the Holy Spirit. 
Anything else you want to add? No, nope, that's it. We look forward to seeing you guys next and bringing us along on our adventure. Until then, God bless you and goodbye. God bless. Thank you.